guys, starting today, I'm doing a granola bowl. So I'm putting in some homemade granola and I'm gonna top it off with some fruit. So just gonna dice up my orange into bite-sized pieces. If you wanna know the recipe for the granola, I will link the recipe video in the description box. This is a really good option if you want something fairly quick or you're missing cereal. So sometimes instead of cooking up some oatmeal, I just like to have granola handy for cases like this where I can just turn it into my own version of cereal. never really fully understood how to get all of the like fleshy bits off of my mango so if you have any better recommendations for cutting up a mango please let me know in the comments below I used only about half of what I could get from the mango and then whatever I had left I just kind of snacked on it later in the day For the soy milk part, I'm mixing in one teaspoon of turmeric powder into a mason jar so I can shake it into the soy milk, and then one teaspoon of moringa powder. And the reason why I'm using moringa powder and turmeric is that moringa powder is a superfood full of antioxidants to help support my immune system, and then turmeric is really helpful for balancing out my hormones. Now I'm gonna add about half a dropper full of vanilla flavored stevia. Now for lunch, I'm taking three already steamed russet potatoes and I'm cutting them into just like a fry-like shape. When I'm using my air fryer, I definitely prefer to use steamed potatoes. It just makes the inside so creamy and not dry, but the outside will be so crispy. I had this idea that I would try to season the potatoes on that plate, but it quickly backfired. So I just went straight into using my method of putting in a plastic baggie adding in a lot of chili powder, some garlic powder, and then I'll be doing some nutritional yeast. And this is what I'm calling my chili cheese fries. This method just makes it so much easier to get all the seasonings on every single potato so that every fry is gonna be the same. Now adding my fries to my air fryer tray, I'm just gonna evenly place them so that there's not too much overlap and they get fully cooked. Now I'm gonna cook these at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. 
In the meantime, I'm gonna dice up a red onion and I'm only gonna use about a quarter of it. And while the fries are cooking, I actually put some refried black beans on the stove that I made at home, but you can easily use vegetarian refried beans. Um, it works great for this dish. My fries are all done, so I'm going to place them on my plate. I'm only going to be using about half of the tray. And these turned out so good. And I'm using my absolute favorite kind of salsa. It's just chunky enough with so much flavor, I'm like addicted to it. And if the jalapenos are not hot enough, I'm gonna use some more sriracha to coat my fries. And for dinner, I'm going with my go-to, which is to make sushi at home. It seems like it's complicated, but it's really easy to put together when you figure out the technique. So chopping up half of my cucumber, I'm gonna cut it in half the long way and just make it into strips. I make sure to buy my avocados with what I'm gonna call that little belly button on it, um, just to easily see if it's gonna be ripe or not. This one was a little bit before its time, so I had a heck of a time trying to cut it up and get that little seed out. A fun tip I have is I use the shell of the avocado as like a little miniature trash can for all the excess produce bits I'm not going to use. And I try to get as much out of my avocado as I can so any thicker chunks I try to cut in like thinner strips to get the most out of it. Using my already cooled down jasmine rice, I'm adding some rice vinegar to it, and this just makes it a little bit stickier, so it makes it easier to work with on the sushi. And then just fluffing it, getting out all those like bigger chunks. Vegan kimchi is quite amazing. It's usually used though as like a garnish you eat on top of your sushi, but this time I'm gonna actually put it inside. And since I don't have a bamboo rolling sheet, I just use my hands to roll the sushi. I'm using a silicone baking sheet as my little surface. Making sure to spread the rice to all the edges. I'm using the strips of cucumber. Um, laying it across the sheet, but I'm also putting it a little bit more towards me than in the middle and that just makes it easier for me to roll it.
Definitely making sure to use a sharp knife when I'm cutting this, otherwise the seaweed sheet, the nori sheet, will rip and tear um, and then just everything falls apart. I usually eat around two rolls of sushi. Sometimes I'll have a little bit more or I'll make an extra one later on if I get really hungry, but just stick into the intuition of eating. I always have really liked the wasabi that I found at the sushi places, so I found this on Amazon. It's a wasabi powder. I'm just gonna take a little bit. You definitely wanna be careful with this because it is very spicy. Um, and then adding just a little bit of water, just enough to make it into like a little paste. Once I get a paste formation, I'll add some low sodium tamari or I'll add some coconut aminos. Makes it so good to dip your sushi.